pure resistance in AC circuit. Here we can see this is a purely resistive AC circuit. Here this is a resistor and this is a AC source. V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Here we can see this is a voltage waveform of this circuit and this is a current waveform of that circuit. On horizontal axis this is a time. Here we can see this is a maximum value of voltage it is Vm. We can also say it is amplitude. So this waveform is for equation V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Here we can see the amplitude of this Vm is greater than amplitude of this Im. That is because current I is equal to V by R. This is according to Ohm's law. The current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So the current will be always smaller than voltage because it is it, it get divided by resistance. So that's why the current amplitude is smaller as compared to voltage amplitude. Now here this is pi or 180 degree and this is 2 pi or 360 degree complete rotation. So this is one complete cycle. Phasor diagram. The phasor diagram for purely resistive circuit will be like this. Again here we can see the amplitude of the voltage is greater than amplitude of current. So that's why this line of voltage is greater than this line of current. And here in case of purely resistive circuit the phase angle is 0. Now what is mean by phase angle is 0? Here we can see this is a 0 crossover point of voltage and this is a 0 crossover point of current. So here we can see both are in on the same point or on the same line. So that's why we can see there is no phase difference. So that's why there is no phase difference. So phase angle phi is equal to 0. So this is how the phasor diagram of purely resistive circuit looks like. Now impedance of purely resistive circuit. In rectangular form Z is equal to R plus Jx where this R is the resistive part and this X is the reactive part. Now in case of purely resistive circuit the reactive part is 0 and resistive part is resistance R. So here in place of this so we can substitute 0. So this will be Z is equal to R plus J0. The unit of this Z, this Z is the impedance and the unit of impedance is Ohm. So this will be Z is equal to R plus J0 Ohm. So we can simply write this as impedance Z is equal to R Ohm. So in case of purely resistive AC circuit, the impedance is equal to resistance. Now in polar form, in polar form, the equation is Z is equal to magnitude of Z at an angle phi. Where this phi is the phase angle and this is the magnitude of Z. So, we know that the magnitude of Z is simply R because the reactive part is 0. So, this will be Z is equal to R at an angle and this phase angle here again it is 0. So, this will be 0 degree and its unit will be again Ohm. Oh 